Hey, Crafty Peeps, is Angel Holt, the Angel Holt's designs. Oh, hang on. Okay. Ugh, whatever. I got a Twitter from Madonna. Okay, sure. All right. Anyway, um, I'm back. I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to show you an awesome tutorial today, but I want to say something first. Um, this is the reason why I do what I do. This is, um, a what? Good grief. No, I don't want Madonna. Lord. I'm cut my. Okay, anyway. This is the reason I do what I do. Um, a dear lady wrote me and she asked me why her sprayers weren't working on her Lindy's. And I said, well, it could be that the sprayers are old. So I sent her a bag of sprayers and she wrote back um, to me and she sent me these beautiful photos of her layout that she did inspired by mine. And it is absolutely stunning. She done a beautiful job. Her name is Diana. I'm not going to show you her address here so um she writes just a quick note to once again thank you for the generosity of sending me the sprayers um i've enclosed a little gift for you of some metal decor from the 70s and i wanted to share with you also a picture of the girl that i created under your direction and inspiration and then she goes on to say, anyways, I'm following you all over YouTube for inspiration and ideas and just love your work. Keep the videos coming. I love to craft and with your ideas, I am making new things and I would have never conquered. You make it look so easy. Well, thank you so much, Diana. This is most, this is awesome. When people share their photos with me, um, online and offline of projects that they created based on the projects that I created to show you that is more humbling and more amazing than receiving any type of materialistic item or anything it is just the fact that my work has inspired so many um, to want to create what I create and that is why I do what I do I love what I do um, it is a job to me I'm a paid designer and I treat it as a baby and I nurture it and everything else and I love 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 what I do so um, the little trinkets she sent me were from the 70s this beautiful little box and I was looking at them earlier look at this a little angel some hearts some vintage these are definitely vintage just different little yummy trinkets that again would look beautiful on one of these types of canvases I just absolutely love it love 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 it just yummy different things so when you go scavenging at yard sales and stuff just look at these look for these types of things and everything and in uh vintage stores and they're little treasures that can help your crafting expand but thank you diana this is awesome. absolutely beautiful she's done a beautiful job love the detail the color everything i love the fact she used a lot of florals in hers and brought down the the stamping in the face i love that stunning stunning job so thank you so much so what am I going to teach you today well um, my friend Marie she went by the dollar uh, the Dollar Tree and she got some of this and we all know what this is it's shelf liner you know everyday shelf liner we see it all the time. It has an awesome grip to it and everything. Well, she got to looking at it. And got to looking at it. And she rolled it out. You know. And she created a beautiful flower. Uh, using this same 
product. And I wanted to share it with you because I think it's a new type of lace we can play with. Look at that. Isn't that absolutely stunning? Absolutely stunning. And see, you can do different styles and put different um, centers or embellishments in the center like uh, this beautiful button here. You know? You can put let's see just different yummy 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 things I mean so this is kind of like I call it dollar store lace basically because that's basically what it is it's dollar store lace and I'm going to show you how to make a flower and I'm going to use a cabochon here okay so I'm going to show you how to do this what you're going to need you're going to need some needle and thread and of course the the shelf liner and you're just going to cut you off a piece here and I'm going to call this video shelf liner flowers compliments to Marie Okay, so basically what you're going to do is you're just going to cut you some strips out about one inch, you know, all right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create some petals here like this. To make a scallop like that. I think I got that one just a little too wide. And see this stuff also you know mimics lace so you can spray it, you can ink it, you can paint it and I'm going to demo that as well. There we go make little flowers and I'm just putting some scallops in there like that okay so there we go all right now the next step you're gonna do is you're gonna get out needle and thread and I already have some here I'm just going to reload my needle here. Just take me a few seconds. Just tie you a knot at the end there like that. I'm going to double knot it. Okay. And I need some more scissors. I need more scissors. Okay, so we're going to run it through there like that. Well, I thought we were. <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay, so basically all you're going to do is a running stitch. So what I would do is I would do... A lockdown stitch go through one of the uh, little puffs right there I call them little puffs go through one of those to lock down your stitch like that okay and you're just gonna do a running stitch all the way down just like this simple easy peasy to do and 
I think these are stunning flowers. They make stunning flowers. It's a different material. It is not, you know, your ordinary material. At the end, just feed your lace through like that. And then I'm going to add one more to here. You're just going to start, run it through there like that. And I'm going to do another running stitch. Just, Of course you can cut a longer piece so you don't have to piece it like I did. But I'm just, I decided to piece it like this because it would just, I'm just show you if you did have um, short pieces, you can run, uh, piece them like this and still get the same results. Like this, just run it through. You don't have to hit uh, one of those little puffs every time but it is good to hit them periodically so that your stitching will stay where it's supposed to stay. It's kind of like, you know, with other delicate laces, you know, you don't want to... So right here, the last stitch, I'm going to go through there. And now I'm going to do a lock stitch and pull it taut. Now I'm going to do couple of lock stitches like you see here and there we go all right so now what you're going to do it's just like your other ones your other lacy flowers you're just going to spin it around and I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue to connect both the ends here like this there you go just press it together fan it out like that cute then you can then double it, triple it, like I did that one. Really cute. So um, we're going to put this down in the center. You're going to do that down right in there like that. And these would make awesome little hair accessories. You name it. Like that. You're going to get your little camachon, and I'm going to snip off the little loop part here. Like that. I'm going to add my hot glue. Like so. Add my little camachon. Alright, and then I'm just going to put it in the center of that. Ouch. Look how beautiful that is. I just love it. I absolutely love it. Look at that. It's just beautiful. It's different. It's beautiful. And you would have never thought to do that. Okay. Now we're going to test the theory of it being able to be sprayed or inked or whatever. So I'm going to set these aside. And. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Cut this in pieces here. And I'm going to use Lindy's. Um, Tune Travel Teal. Looks good. 
good so far. We'll see what it does with the heat gun. Well, I'm gonna press that color in there a little bit better. There we go. Instead of daubing it, I'm just gonna really concentrate the color. Then I'm gonna run it through a heat gun. Now I don't know about the melting factor, so we're gonna see. Well, it can take some heat. It did not melt. I wouldn't sit there and direct it on it, but it did take the color beautifully. Okay, now let's try the gesso or the paint. We're going to try to ink it. I'm going to use the Prima um, chalk, uh, chalkers here because these cover beautifully oh my gosh look at this oh my goodness I told you these Prima inks are the bomb and I have two sets left okay look here look at that it just changed the color okay I'm gonna do another Prima let's do black or brown or you can let's do the brown where you can really see that's what I like about chalk inks they're fluid chalk inks they cover beautifully and these are amazing I mean just amazing I love these look at that Isn't that beautiful and it has um, then you can ink it dry it and see course I would let it dry on there but yeah look at that just beautiful okay we're gonna paint it let's get some gesso I'm sure you won't have no problem painting this now you're not going to have any trouble painting it. There we go. Gesso, inked, sprayed, and absolutely beautiful. It is an awesome new uh, medium that you can apply to your mixed media projects. You can make flowers with it. You can do a lot with it. It's very sturdy and strong. We all are very aware of this. And uh, Marie found it in blue, cream, and mauve. So, what are you gonna do the next time you go to the Dollar Tree or the Dollar Store? You're going to grab you some of this and you're going to make some beautiful flowers and you're going to use it in your mixed media projects so that you can create beautiful things like these so this is a quick tutorial and i hope that um, it inspires you to create outside the box and to look at different materials that are readily available in the home decor sections and the kitchen sections and you might have some of this in your cabinets already and you're fixing to go swipe some of it so um <laughs> so um if you do use this tutorial and make some of these please 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 share with me and as always you can find me on pinterest facebook 
Twitter and Instagram. And if you haven't done so already, please like this video. I love the likes. Give me a thumbs up. Share and subscribe. And until next crafty tutorial or fun and innovative idea, um, I will see you then. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.